Good morning, everyone. As you can see, I am starting my shake. I hope this does not make me sick, only because I've been having those weird allergic reactions to dairy, and this does have milk. So, we are going to see. Um, I'm actually gonna go sit down on the couch and let you guys know what we're doing today. So, here we go, cheers. All right, everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today is weigh-in day. We told this little alarm stop. Uh, today is weigh-in day, so I will show you guys that. Um, I wasn't really that good throughout my week, so um, we'll see how that goes. I mean, we're trying to pick up the pieces, okay? We're trying to, but I get really scared with some of the things that I'm eating just because of the milk intake, the dairy that's inside of it. Um, I'm even noticing that the bars are making my stomach feel a little uneasy. I'm not sure if it's just because they make you gassy because these bars make you super gassy. Um, you become like methane, man. It's really weird. But um, yeah, I'm going to try to do my shakes because I really miss having a shake in the morning. And I think that when I was having a shake in the morning, I was more likely to stay on track and do all of that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, uh, today I have my court hearing with my wonderful cycle ex um, with my kid and um, I really don't think anything's going to change. It never really does. All they do is just try to, um, you know, establish more fees on us and try to make us pay more and I mean that's how our court system is. It's broken. So unfortunately their um, out views on everything is not in the child's best interest it's whatever financial gain they can possibly get. So, um, not looking forward to today. I have that in about an hour. I have to do my telephone conference and we'll see how all of that goes. So, keep your fingers crossed that everything goes well and that they don't try to make us pay this obscene amount. They wanna just pay like a thousand dollars a month to get this special counsel thing. And I think that's just absolutely ridiculous. Like. I don't even know who can do that on a regular basis, let alone um, right now during these times especially. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, I'm not gonna pay it regardless to if they rule it or not. I don't know what that means for me, but oh well, it is what it is. If I can't do it, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna put my family in a place where I can't feed my kids or I can't pay our normal housely bills because of my ex always trying to cause grief with us. I mean, that is just absolutely absurd and ridiculous. I will appeal and just not go through with that. I mean, I think it's just, that's out of control. So we'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, I do have some door dashing that I'm gonna be doing um, probably later on today, depending on how this goes and how I feel afterwards. Um, you know, this whole court process takes quite a bit out of you and it's very draining and it's just a lot it's a lot of added unnecessary added stress because the other party doesn't want to co-parent so we'll see how it goes um <clears throat> yeah i'm just trying to stay positive through everything i guess you could try to say <laughs> I don't know. I've been meditating a lot and just taking some time out for myself, which is why I haven't really vlogged at all this past week, past couple of weeks. I've just been taking some time to myself and um, really trying to get everything back in perspective. It's very easy to get caught up in life. It's very easy to fall off the bandwagon. And, um, you know, when you start feeling insecure and you start getting like, um, those uneasy feelings, it's so easy to start trying to go back to your old ways or to fall into something that comforts you. And for me, that's food. For me, that is, you know, I eat my feelings, unfortunately. I wish it was something else. I wish I was like one of those girls who like, um, you know, went into fitness when they got super depressed or whatever the case may be, you know, like I wish I was one of those girls, but I'm not. Unfortunately, I turn to food and sweets especially. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. 
But as far as diet goes, I mean, I was a little bit better. I just have not been, um, not really uh, taking my bars consistently. So <sighs> I really need to focus on that. And my water intake. I have been drinking at least one bo water bottle a day, which I know that sounds awful, but for me, that's a big accomplishment. So um, taking baby steps to trying to get back on track and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm not looking forward to today. I'm really not looking forward to today. I mean, you know, it'd be different, but if like the courts weren't so crazy, but I'm not even exaggerating when I say this, like we've been to court every year, practically since my son was born. It's crazy. And the, that's what the mediator was saying too. She was like, you guys have been here already seven times and your kid's only eight years old. And I'm like, yeah, but this is not my doing, it's his. Because he's jealous and he can't get over the fact that I moved on and he doesn't like my life now. Like, I'm sorry that you're miserable and you can't get over it, but that's not my problem, that's your problem. And, you know, for him to constantly attack us the constant CPS calls, the constant police calls and welfare checks on my kid because he thinks that we're over here just beating him and doing all this crazy stuff. I mean, it's extreme. It's extreme, you guys. Like, the amount of crap that I deal with on a daily basis is just insane. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know why he can't just focus on himself. Go out there and find somebody else. Go. Start your life. Do something. Do something with your life, you know? But he chooses not to. He chooses to be very spiteful, and he only wants to try to hurt me. That's his main goal in life is just attacking me. And once my son turns 18, I'm like, what is he going to do then? Because once I block that number forever, I'm like, sorry, dude. Psh. Peace, cut. You're out. You know, I don't know. These are so good. They're so good. I have missed them so much. Miss them. I Oh, so an update on the birth control thing. So I did end up stopping the birth control because I have a feeling that that's what was calling, causing my um, dairy allergic reactions. I don't know if it changed something in me chemically or whatnot. I never used to have an issue with eating dairy. Um, but since I started taking those pills, I've had major issues. Um, so I stopped them all together. And in my last lady cycle, I didn't have any of the endometriosis pain, but I'm not sure if that's because the, you know, the pills are still in my system or whatnot. Um, We'll just have to see what happens from here on out as far as that goes. But I know the pain is like excruciating and it's really bad when it does happen. So I'm hoping that it stays gone and that it just doesn't come back and I get my, um, my dairy tolerance back up. I really have been watching what I eat as far as any dairy consumption at all. And I've not had any of that pain um, since then, just a little uneasiness in my stomach when I eat the bars but like I said I'm not sure if that's just because they make me gassy but I've not had a crazy reaction like um like the ones I was getting before where if I had like even sour cream a little bit of cream cheese you know like mayonnaise crazy you would never think that like these little things would pretty much destroy your life it literally felt like my internal organs were going to explode. The only way to get rid of the pain, and not really get rid of the pain, but just make it a little bit more comfortable for me to like not go to the hospital was sitting in a bathtub. Because that, it just, you know, when you sit in water, you flow, everything is like, there's no gravity. So that was the only thing that was truly making me feel better when I was having those episodes because it literally felt like I was dying. Like I would get those, you know, like you get hot and then you get cold, almost like you're gonna pass out. That's the type of feeling that I was getting and it just felt like my stomach was just, my poor organs were just expanding so much, like they were so swollen. 
they felt like they were gonna explode. It was just the worst pain. I would have to say way worse than child labor. Way worse. And I did all three of my kids natural. So it was just bad. So I have been avoiding dairy at all costs. Um, I just, oh, I can't do that. And then afterwards, I would go to the bathroom and my pee would be like bright orange, like orange, orange. And like, I'm like, oh no, I think it's like killing my liver and my kidneys is like ultimately what's happening. So I've stopped taking those pills because I have a feeling that has something to do something with it because I've never had this type of reaction until that came into play. And I really thought about it and I'm like, you know what? I wasn't having any of these issues until I started taking those pills. So um, I've stopped those since then. If I ha if need be, I'm just gonna go back to the doctor and say, hey, you guys gotta take this out. Like, I mean, it's crazy. I can't take the birth control pills because it's jacking up my system. Um, if it is endometriosis, which I never truly got a diagnosis for, then they need to fix it surgically or something because I'm not gonna take any more pills. I'm not going to try to do any of that stuff anymore. It's obviously my body's rejecting it on every level. So I am not about to hurt my body any more than it's already been damaged because of these stupid pills. So we'll see what happens as far as that goes too. Um, yeah, this is the first, this is the first time I've had anything with any type of milk in it in a while. So, um, I really hope I don't get that reaction. Um, yeah, I just can't wait till all of these, the pills are out of my system completely so I can see if that really was the problem. And hopefully my system goes back to being normal because that's never guaranteed either. So we'll see. All right, you guys, well, I'm gonna start getting ready for this meeting. I have about what, 45 minutes to um, get my thoughts together. Um, and get what I'm going to say. I don't have an attorney because, I mean, obviously I can't afford one. He does. So, uh, more power to him for wasting money on an attorney. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I feel kind of uneasy this morning. But I just need to try to stay positive and I think everything will be okay. And it, you know, it's kind of weird. I've been following, like, numbers and stuff and... Um, so far I've gotten the number 31 kind of like repetitively and I kind of looked up like what that means as far as like a symbolic thing because it's kind of odd that this number is just like jumping out at me all the time and what I was reading about it is it trying to say that like my guardian angels are trying to tell me that like everything's going to be okay and um, not to worry and you know what an appropriate time for that to really taken with all of this crazy stuff that's happening. So I'm going to try to listen to my uh, signs, the signs that are given to me and try not to worry and just go with the flow of things. And however this turns out is however it turns out. And um, if need be, I can always try to appeal it. So we'll see. Well, I hope you guys are having a great day, a great week. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next vlog. I will try to do better at vlogging, you guys. Um, just trying to get my self-esteem back up and my morale to come back to a place where, um, I'm not so depressed and, yeah, we'll get there. We're taking baby steps, but we'll get there. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, everyone. Well, I am back from my court date. Good morning, sleepy paws. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It was a different judge this time. My ice maker is so loud. It was a different judge this time, thank goodness. Um, so we'll see what happens. I mean, everything's like unpredictable and unknown at this point. And wow, all I can say is I am, so shocked at how you're supposed to be under oath like you're supposed to tell the truth and i don't know if just what he tells his attorney is just so far-fetched that it just is crazy it's crazy i mean this is a new attorney too so granted she doesn't know the extent of our case but um 
yeah, she literally didn't know anything and she's gonna look like a real fool when they start uh, digging up of what happened in the past. What happened, baby girl? <laughs> As you can see, I showered and got all cleaned up. <laughs> this one, on the other hand, is a hot mess. <laughs> she just woke up. So, uh, no itching those mosquito bites, Miss Manly Man. There we go. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully everything works out good. And um, I, I just want a fair ruling. I just want a fair ruling. It seems like with the other judge, it was always one-sided, completely unfair. He always brought his entourage to court. So it was kind of nice that it was all through video. I mean, through a uh, telephone and he couldn't see any of us. Um, because then he just brings his attorney friends and everyone that he hangs out with and um, just really wins over the court system that way by having his friends there. So I'm glad that this time it was all through phone. There was no chance for his little entourage to show up. So um, I think maybe this time I'll actually have a fair shot um, as in compared to the other judge who just didn't even care about the facts to the case. I mean, when I go to court, you guys, it's, it's crazy. Like my paperwork is extensive, but I have like evidence and proof. He has nothing except for hearsay and a bunch of jealousy. Like he's so jealous against my now husband. So, I mean, I don't know what else to tell him except for he needs to move on. He needs to get over this. And, um, you know, I told the judge that I didn't think it was fair that I get uh, penalized for not communicating when the issue is not me, it's his dad. So um, hopefully everything works out and we'll find out in a couple of days after he has time to review everything and um, go through our case log. But, oh, you guys. <laughs> Nanny. But it's been a nightmare, you guys. So stressful and so crazy. So I had my shake. I was gonna go dashing today, but I might end up going back to sleep because I do have to work tonight. So I don't want to be uh, so worn out. And this is so mentally draining, um, just going through this process and just listening to all of the lies, the blatant lies that they tell against me is just, I think crazy because there's no proof. There's absolutely zero anything on their half, but they stick to it like it holds some type of like clout and it has absolutely nothing it's like air it's nothing so uh, i don't know we'll see what happens you guys but i mean i just want this to be over with i just want it to be like i really can't wait until my son turns 18 and we don't have to deal with this anymore i don't have to deal with him anymore i have 10 more years and you know surprisingly it goes by really fast because this eight years went by quick so I know that it's gonna go by fast, and um, then by that time, once he turns 18, I will let him choose if he wants to stay in California or if he wants to go to Washington with us, but we shall see what happens further down the line when it comes to that point in life. But until then, we'll be here. <laughs> all right, you guys, I just wanted to give you a little check-in. Oh, sorry, I got all these naked babies coming in now. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.